This video shows how to create a Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 connection in Informatica Cloud Data Integration. First, we'll get the following information from Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage. The Microsoft ADLS Gen2 account name, the file system name, the client ID, tenant ID, and client secret. Log in to the Azure portal and go to the storage accounts. Make a note of your Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 account name. Next, get the file system name in your account. Then get the client ID and the tenant ID for your application that's registered in the Azure Active Directory on the Azure portal. Under Certificates and Secrets, note the client secret for your application. Next, go to Access Control. Make sure that the role assigned to Azure Active Directory can access resources in the storage account. Now we're ready to create a Microsoft ADLS Gen2 connection in Cloud Data Integration. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, go to the My Services page and open the Administrator Service. Click Connections and create a new connection. Give the connection a name. Select the Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 connection type, and then select a runtime environment. Enter the name of your Microsoft ADLS Gen 2 account. Enter the client ID, client secret, and tenant ID that you got from the Azure Active Directory application. Enter the name of the file system in your Microsoft ADLS Gen 2 account. Enter the path of the directory in the file system. Select the Azure endpoint for the connection. Test the connection to validate it. And then save the connection. And that's it. In this video, we showed you how to get a Gen2 account details from Microsoft ADLS and create a Microsoft ADLS Gen2 connection in Informatica Cloud Data Integration. You can use the connection to read data from and write data to Microsoft ADLS Gen2. For more information, see the How-To Library article about prerequisites to create a Microsoft ADLS Gen2 connection on the Informatica documentation portal. Visit our communities and support hub, or check out our website.